Hello there, Virgo. This is your three card reading for August 2018. I hope you had insightful and interesting experiences for the eclipses in July on the 13th and the 27th. And we have one more eclipse to come on the 11th of August, which will also be solar and fall and therefore in Leo. Meaning, again, for Virgo, it's your 12th house, 12, the unconscious side of our lives, which can give rise to crazy dreams, restlessness, or bringing up secrets, things that are hidden from view. You already had a little taste of that with the full moon. Now you might have another taste with the eclipse. So we're just going to burn our sage and then give your three cards. So just imagine that this sage is also around you, purifying and cleansing anything in, on, or around you, no longer for your highest good. Purify the cards too. So here are your cards. First card, Princess of Cups. Second card, Ten of Swords, third card, Two of Cups. Wow, this is sort of contradictory. Let me see. All right, so Princess of Cups, if she, I can't remember if she came up for you last month or not, um, but she's very sensitive and a bit dreamy and can be a bit um, shy creative, uh, empathic, maybe even psychic, withdrawn, does not like conflict, does not like talking about things directly. She's holding um, a shell with a turtle in it, so she likes things to be protected, motherly, nurturing, slow. Um, so this might be somebody around you, or it could represent a side of you. The Ten of Swords is really a tough card. It, they call it Ruin. This card shows up usually when people have are just beyond the point of logic with trying to hang on or fix or analyze to death something that's just, it's time for it to go. It's time for it to end. There's nothing more you can do. You, you just sort of... Uh, torturing yourself in whatever situation by staying in it. The uh, Ten of Swords has the Sun in Libra and the Moon in Gemini, and if you know a little bit about astrology, you know why that would be such a difficult card, because, sorry, the, um, the Sun in Libra is always weighing things and wants things to be fair and wants things to be nice, and the Moon in Gemini is uh, a chameleon and needs variety and will add more and more people and variety and drama at times to their lives. They, they'll have a deep inner nature that is like highly social and then really Jekyll and Hyde like pulling back from everybody. And so this sun in Libra is trying to please and trying to figure it out and weigh everything while the moon in Gemini is just like sort of extremes and super clever and busy and there's no way that that Libra can keep up with all of that. So you have this accumulation of trying to solve things with your mind that cannot be solved with the mind. So maybe this is the message in the Princess of Cups is that you've got to go back to your senses and that innocent vulnerable side of you and feel this out as if you were a child. If you're in a situation where you can recognize yourself overthinking, overanalyzing, feeling just that, sometimes that energy just feels so tiring, dead, hard, blech. If you can recognize where that energy is in your life, that's where you need to pull back and look at it with the eyes of a child. If you if you visualized yourself as a young girl or young boy, maybe you can do some inner child exercise where you visualize it for real. See yourself 
as a little kid and visualize yourself with this person or at this job or in this apartment or in this, you know, interacting with whoever or whatever is causing this and try to get a gauge of what that little child in you would do. And you can restore yourself back to the Two of Cups, which is the love card, which is like an innocent, lovely, mutual, romantic even, um, playful, also thoughtful and nurturing side. So I want you to really take a look and be honest with yourself. Where are you analyzing and in your, stuck in your head and you've got to get out of your head this month and see things with fresh eyes and actually not even fresh eyes you have to see them with your heart see and feel with your emotions and with your heart that's the only way out of this situation but you will restore yourself with this love card there could be a new relationship around the corner for you so you have to find a way to release whatever or whoever you're breaking your head over. All right, so if you need a longer reading, you can reach me under this video or at river-rain.com or on Facebook, Clairvoyant Medium Catherine Allen. I wish you a wonderful month.